we begin with a dramatic moment on Capitol Hill at a hearing about keeping kids safe online. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg stood up and apologized directly to families affected by tragedies connected to social media. It happened during a hearing where five major tech CEOs faced tough questions from senators and accusations that they put profit over safety. Jolene Kent witnessed all of this firsthand and spoke to the parents. Jolene, good morning. Nate, good morning. It was a real stunning moment to see Mark Zuckerberg standing up and forcing himself to face the parents of these children. Very distraught. The grief in the room was palpable. Now, the big question is what Congress will do next. These parents are hopeful but skeptical. Do you affirm the testimony you're about the to give CEOs of Discord, truth, Snap, TikTok, X, and Meta were called to Capitol Hill Wednesday. I know you don't mean to it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. In the room, scores of parents holding up photos of their children, some who they say died as a result of online sexual exploitation, bullying, and harassment. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg was pressured by Republican Senator Josh Hawley to face the grieving families. Have you compensated any of the victims? These girls, have you compensated them? I don't believe so. You, why not? Have you apologized to the victims? Would you like to do so now? Well, uh, show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, I, I'm sorry for everything that you have all been through. It's terrible and no one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. Watching in the audience, Shauna Pouch from Vermont. She's raising her 11-year-old granddaughter, who she says was sexually exploited on Snapchat, sending her into a mental health crisis. I just never thought that this kind of stuff would happen, and it did. If you had a chance to speak to the CEOs, what would you say to the CEO of Snapchat? Snapchat is my worst enemy. They need to step up and they need to make these platforms safe for children. I'm so sorry that we have not been able to prevent these tragedies. Did you or ev and everyone else at SNAP really fail to see that the platform was the perfect tool for sexual predators? Senator, that behavior is disgusting and reprehensible. Spiegel and ex-CEO Linda Yaccarino did express support for the Kids Online Safety Act, one of several bills that have been proposed. However, Congress has been unable to pass any meaningful legislation. It's been 28 years, what, since the Internet? We haven't passed any of these bills. And the reason they haven't passed is because of the power of your company. So let's be really, really clear about that. Mark, are you putting profits over kids' safety? How are you keeping kids safe online? Why Zuckerberg declined to take our questions. And Pouch says she wants the social media companies to do more. What's going through your head and your heart as you leave this hearing today? My head? I'm very frustrated with listening to these CEOs. How many more children do we need to lose in order for this to change? The open question now is what Congress will choose to do next. The ball is firmly in their court. The committee ended on a note and a commitment to pass a package of five bills. Senator Graham, the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, has vowed to me multiple times in our interviews and in person that he will bring reform to the Senate floor for a vote by this fall. But there's a lot of hurdles that have to be surmounted for that to actually happen. Tony. Yeah, that's what people are waiting for. Joe Ling, those senators channeling a lot of the anger and frustration that parents feel. Thank you very much. And, yeah. and this is a real talker. We've been talking about it all morning. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg says it's complicated, these safety questions for parents. It's not. The kids went on your app. Yep. They suffered, and there have to be consequences. Yeah. So far, they're not. Yeah, and we've highlighted so many stories where people have lost children. And it's a tough one. I think all of us up here as parents have said, we want our kids to have access. We want them to be like the other kids. So we know the dangers too, but there's so much going on behind the scenes that we can't control, but we feel like these companies can do more to protect. It seems like in most situations in America, we are held accountable and liable yeah. for things that happen, yeah. but these companies aren't. They're not. If we libeled Mark Zuckerberg right now, he could sue CBS and us. Yeah. But if someone posts that on his platform, they're not liable on the platform. They're just hosting it. Yeah. It's like a cork board in the park. Yeah. yeah. More to come on It is that. complicated. Thank you, Jolene.